Hey guys, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. My name is Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I have kind of an arty, fun, different technique and product to share with you today. I was recently at a home show with my sister, Aubrey, and we were walking through this show looking at different homes, but the part we love going for is the design. We love to walk through the homes and see what different fabrics and textures and colors that the designers are using because it gives us a lot of inspiration, not only for our own, own homes, but in creating for Stampin' Up! as well. We can take those colors and recreate them into beautiful projects that we see all the time. One thing that I love is looking at artwork in these houses. I was recently in a home and I took a picture of this beautiful artwork. It's really plain and monochromatic, and but it's just full of texture, which is totally my style. And I really liked it. But my thought was, oh my goodness, I can recreate that which I love when I think of something like that because not only does it save me money, but it also gives me a little bit of that creation that I love to have so much in my life. My mind went to a product that we have that Stampin' Up! sells called Embossing Paste. We've had it for a few years in our annual idea book and catalog, but because of that reason, it's something that I often forget. And so I pulled it out this last week and I started playing with it and I came up with some really fun things that I wanted to share with you today. First, I wanted to recreate what I saw on that canvas. So I went to my local big box store and I bought a pack of canvases and I taped off the edges with some painter's tape. I smeared a bunch of embossing paste on this canvas to make my own painting. And I thought it turned out really fun. I really like the way that it turned out. But I wanted to translate this into card making too, because I love the texture that this can add to cards and projects. And again, I always forget about it. So I pulled it out and I started playing with it and I came up with some really, really, really cute ideas that I want to show you. Before I show you those ideas, I want to just give you a basic of how to play with this embossing paste. So you can either order some for yourself if this isn't something you've used before or pull yours out and get creating with it. One product I really like to use in conjunction with embossing paste is our silicone craft sheet. You can mix your embossing paste right on top of this and then just wash it straight off and it doesn't stick. So I really enjoy using that. I have some embossing paste here. It comes in a little tub just like this. Just gonna open it. Now it's really important to realize that this embossing paste will dry out if you leave the lid off. So you need to make sure that you take good care to cover it back up. We even had a friend tell us this past week that she puts a little bit of saran wrap over the top and then puts it in a Ziploc bag and stores it that way so that it doesn't dry out. So if you've had issues with drying out in your area, you could always try that. I'm gonna grab a bit of this embossing paste with my palette knife and just smear some here on my silicone craft sheet. I'm gonna close the lid back up. Now I want the color to be um, soft sea foam. So for this amount, I'm gonna add three drops of my soft sea foam reinker to that so that I can color this. This particular one comes in a white color. We also have a shimmery white option that has a bit of um, iridescent glitter and it's really pretty. So I'm gonna add three drops of soft sea foam reinker to my embossing paste and I'm just gonna mix it on my silicone craft sheet. It's gonna start out really dark and then as the white mixes with the color, hopefully it'll all turn into the color that I'm looking for here. And it's kind of like using a butter knife and spreading butter on a slice of bread to get all of the color mixed in the way you want it. So that's looking about how I like it. Looks just like soft sea foam to me. You can always add more color. It's just harder to take away. So always start a little softer. I have a piece of just jade cardstock right here. I'm also going to be using today our basic pattern decorative masks. There are four masks that come together. This is a little leaf print that I'm using here. So I'm going to take my palette knife, scoop it up on there, the embossing paste. I'm just going to spread it. Just again, just like butter on a piece of toast all over my project. Now I intended for this project to not get a full image. I didn't want to do it just perfectly. I really wanted it to have kind of a grungy look where not all of the image was filled in. 
Okay, so I'm going to lift up my mask now and get a little view of these leaves underneath it. See, so I've got some of the texture around the corners, that's what I wanted, where they're not totally filled in. But I get that soft seafoam color on top of my Just Jade cardstock. Isn't that fun? And then you can set it aside and let it dry, or you can heat set it. Either way will work. So now that you know how to do the technique, let me show you the projects that I came up with using this technique. My first card is that same one I just showed you. The background is the soft sea foam on the Just Jade, and I used some other little elements here to finish off that card. I also wanted to make it kind of glitzy and glammy for the Baroque background. I added some embossing powder over the top and heat set that to get that gold. And I loved the way that turned out. It was so pretty. Another one of the decorative masks is this background of trees. I wanted to make it spring-like since it's almost spring. So I made it a bunch of cherry blossoms. And if you can see that little bit of glimmer, that's the shimmery white embossing paste on the flowers there. And I love the way that turned out. So pretty. And I had to do a masculine card because that's one of my favorite things, especially with texture. So I made this one. There's a polka dot mask. And again, I left it a little bit unfilled in a few spots because I like that grungy look. And I just did a monochromatic with this too and did real red on real red. And it just gives it a good, cool, subtle background. I hope you've been inspired to pull out your embossing paste and play with it again. And if it's not something you've previously purchased, go get some today. You can find the links below to purchase this product. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.